Okay, y'all. So um, what we're going to do today, I was doing an Instagram poll because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my nails. So I left the decision up to you. And y'all, the results are in and it is crazy. So here's my poll. As you can see, maybe you can wait, see. Come on. Acrylics won 93% to 7%. Y'all. 93% to 7%. So we're doing acrylics today. So I've got my setup already. Um, and I will, this is going to be kind of a two parter. So the first part is going to be me actually doing my nails um, with the Color Club, the Future of Color Mood Changing Serendipity Kit. Now I've already used this pink color, so today, and because I'm feeling a little colory full, we're going to use the blue. Um, now this kit has everything in it that you need to put the nails on. Um, it's got the file and everything. I'm a little picky about my file, so I'm going to use a couple of emery boards. Um, the only thing it doesn't include that you will need is you're going to need rubbing alcohol and you're going to need nail polish remover if you've got polish on your nails already. I've got a clear coat, so I'm going to take that off and you're going to need some like napkins or rounds that don't have lint. So I like to use like these takeout napkins because they're always around my house because well, my family likes to collect them. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I do have tips to like make them longer if needed, but I don't want to make my nails longer. My nails are pretty okay length by themselves, I think. So we're just going to jump on into it. Let's do our nails. So again, we're using the color changing Saren Dip Itty, which is a DIY at home um, acrylic dip kit. It comes with this little file. I've labeled the sides to correspond with what the sides are. We're going to need these two. Um, and I take the brush cleaner out just in case because you never know. And then we're going to go ahead and pop this back in its little box and set it off to the side. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is wash your hands with soap and water. And I'm going to use a little bit of polish remover just to get the clear coat off my nails. So I'm going to take my little polish remover. I shake it. I'm weird. I also have a roll of tissue here so that I can use it to get rid of the polish. Oh, I need to unlock it. I usually find three pumps works for me when it's just a clear coat. And something that I generally try to do is if I have, we're going to go ahead and flip to the other side. If I have, um, if I don't have like polish or acrylics or gel nails on, I try to make sure that I have a clear coat at least on my nails just to kind of protect them. Plus y'all, I have naturally really, really sharp nails. Um, and we're going to go ahead and set that off to the side. And, um, I don't, I don't know why I do. My mom has them too. And you're going to take the buffer and gently remove shine from your nails. So your buff side. And the key here is gentle. And I do my left hand first because I am right-handed and it just goes a little faster. You 
You just want to make sure you don't have any shine. And this is going to make a mess, y'all, just so you know. It's going to make a powdery mess. I do also then, I take one of my little cotton rounds and you're going to want to have it out and ready for rubbing alcohol. Get another song playing. Come on. We're going to take the top off. And you want to make sure you're at least a little bit careful when taking the top off of this because it likes to like rip down the middle and then it's a pain to get the top off. Ah. So while the top's off of that, we're going to set that off to the side. I'm going to use the non-linty side with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and just get all of the oil off my nails. And if that gives you back some shine, you're going to want to rebuff. I have, I do this because my nails like don't like to stick to anything. So then I'm just going to take it and do a rebuff again. That's not a buff. Is that a buff? Maybe that is a buff and I did it wrong. You'll also notice when the alcohol dries, you should have like relatively shine free nails. I'm gonna use the file side for this because the buff doesn't take a whole lot of shine off my nails. Now, I do want to let y'all know to be careful the, this is your instant activator. The bottles are labeled. This is your bond gloss. It's what makes it stick. It's what makes it shiny. So we're going to go ahead and do the pinky first. And you apply your bond gloss like you would a polish. And I'm not shaping my nail just yet because I want to inward scooping motion and then tap off the extra. I'm not um, doing my nails just yet because I want to be able to shape them. I'm shaky. I haven't eaten yet today. Blood sugar is a bit low. Please ignore the shaking. Now the box says to do a scooping motion. I go in at a 45 degree angle because my nails are long and if I don't, it's not going to fit otherwise. Again, bond gloss. And dip. Scoop. Let it sit for a second and tap off the extra. And I'm going to go ahead and go through and do all of my nails and then I'll tap the extra bond gloss. I'll probably speed through this, like speed this up. Scoop, side, tap, tap, tap. Okay, so now what I do is tap off the extra. And you'll notice there's going to be a little pile forming of the extra. This is why I do this in a box.
and you can already tell, boot polish. The tips are different color than the rest of it. Okay, once I've done that, and then we're gonna do it again because I like mine to have two coats because I file mine down super thin. And I also try really hard to stay away from the cuticle. And dip, scoop, side, pat. You do this for as many layers as you want your nails thick. I'm gonna do two dips. Side, pat. Dip, scoop, side, pat. As you get used to this, you get a little bit faster at it. Don't go too fast. You don't want to fluff up your nails. Scoop. Tap. And thumb. Scoop. Side, tap. And then again, we're just going to go through and tap off the extra. And I apparently got a fuzz on this one. I do have a tendency to get a little bit aggressive with the brushing just because I don't want any extra hanging out. As you can see, I got some on the side of my finger here, so we're going to go ahead and take that off real quick. And if you get any like on your finger or on your cuticles, you want to take that off before you use the activator. Otherwise, it's a pain in the patella. Then you're going to go in, close this, closing this, switch to your instant activator. And you want to draw, apply a generous amount of applicator. Cover all of the edges and cap off the ends. So all of the activator. It's going to make the nails cold. Cap off the edges. Make sure you get it all over the place.
find your edges and the thumb. Now you let that dry for a minute. Yeah, oh, my watch is dead. So we're gonna use timer. One minute. Set it for a minute. Let it dry. And then you do that on your left hand. Okay, this blue very clearly goes everywhere. All right, so now that we've got that done, what I'm going to do real quick is put the lid on this guy. And we're going to move the box. Because now we're to the shaping portion. So now what you're going to do is shape your nails. My nails are pretty much in the shape I want them to be, so I'm just going to go ahead and like... Ooh, sorry, I have a hiccup. I'll just kind of get rid of any harsh edges. Now what we're doing is we're using a buffer to smooth out the top of the nail. 
I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of a fine buff on it. Make sure you get them the way you want them in this step because after this, we're going to rinse and apply more um, activator. And once you've applied that activator, your nails are pretty much set the way they're going to be. So that's pretty much what I want my nails to look like. They're smooth. They're all set. I'm going to be right back. I got to go rinse them and then we'll finish. So, and this is rinse, no soap, just water. Okay. Now that we're rinsed, we're all rinsed, dry thoroughly. Not going to lie. I'm a little bit paranoid. So I also dry with a lint-free wipe. Okay, that's where that's where we're at. Now we're going in with another coat of come on, instant activator. This basically makes sure that everywhere that got either buffed off or that you didn't get beforehand gets got this time. Okay, now we let this dry. Okay, now they're dry. This is where your lint-free wipe comes in. You want to make sure you rub them down with your lint-free wipe. I don't, I'm not sure why, I'm not a nail technician, but this is what the instructions say to do. So this is what we're doing. All right, now on to the final set of steps. Bonding gloss. You wanna do two to three short, thin strokes across the nail, real quick. Don't worry about them. Reaching the cuticle or capping the edges, you just wanna get a coat on there. And then you're going to wait for that to like do its drying thing. Give it about 15 seconds. Okay. Now you're going to go in slower. Make sure you get your edges. And then it says you can, again, just wait 15 seconds and then go on to the next hand. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a minute and let it dry before I start the next hand. All right. So now that that hand is mostly dry. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Bond and gloss, two to three quick strokes, and then count to 15, and then slower strokes, making sure you cap all your edges. 
We're going to start on my pinky. And again, and slower strokes. Make sure you get all your edges. And again, we're going to go ahead and set our timer for two minutes and let it dry. Just wave your hands, blow, whatever you feel like you need to do to let them dry. And as you can tell, it is doing its mood thing. The tips of my nails are colder than the back of my nails. Just gonna wait. Waiting, all the waiting. Play some music while we're waiting. Or I'm gonna go out of my mind. All right, that's your two minutes. Okay, and that's how you do it. Um, I'm gonna let mine air dry a little bit longer. It says you only need to let them air dry for one to two minutes. I'm OCD, sorry, I had something bugging my eye. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried this product and what you think about it. Ah, my eye. It's like there's a brush hair or something there. Um, so like I said, like, comment, subscribe before below. <laughs> Let me know what you think about it. Pop by for what I think about it in my next video. Um, I'm going to let my nails dry a little bit longer. Um, remember, be kind to one another. Be the change you want to see in the world. And a smile's infectious.